The latest campaign spending reports are due today, and they show that during the last two months, Democratic gubernatorial candidate Neil Abercrombie raised almost twice as much as his opponent, Mufi Hanneman. But Hanneman has the most cash left going into the last 10 days of the race. As KITV4's Demby Fawcett tells us, Abercrombie said his campaign funds soared due to the help of a well-known country singer. Gubernatorial candidate Neil Abercrombie got a boost last month from his Willie Nelson concert fundraiser. Abercrombie raised in this latest campaign spending period twice as much money as Mufi Hanneman. The events we've been having like Willie Nelson and, and Willie Kay coming together brought thousands of people uh, together and they made contributions. And uh, so we've had a big surge from the bottom. Abercrombie has raised a total $2.7 million for the governor's race. In this period, $717,000, with about $250,000 left in cash. Mufi Hanneman has raised a total $3.4 million. In this period, $330,000, with $719,000 left in cash. Almost three times as much cash as Abercrombie. He needs to use the money in a media way that redefines Neil and that redefines himself. It's to put himself in a more positive light, to put Neil in a less positive light. That's been the thrust of his campaign up to now. Republican frontrunner Duke Iona has raised $2.6 million total in the governor's race, 200000 in this period, and has nearly half a million dollars left in cash. His campaign is really going to start in earnest after he finds out who his Democratic candidate is. Now, it's just fascinating here when you think about it, a total of $9 million being raised and spent by these three candidates in this race. And there's going to be one more campaign spending report that's just before the primary election. That'll be on September 16th. And that's when the candidates must report anyone that gave them near the Near, near the end of the election, close to the end of the election, more than $500 in a single donation. Back to you, Paula. All right, Denby, thank you very much. $9 million. Wow.